on the road headed back to New Orleans driving in the country past old timey scenes big birds were singing in the tall willow trees mighty fine Three words written on a paper bag I miss you was written in a message in black I am very impressed with the upgrades to the solar input for this Jackery Explorer 1000 Pro. You can obtain a full charge in just 1.8 hours made possible by four pieces of groundbreaking Solar Saga 200 watt solar panels, and that's three times faster than the previous solar generator 1000. 
With a simple and speedy setup in just under a minute, you'll be able to enjoy endless green power wherever you go. All right, we had to leave camp because these gangster wasps showed up and they were literally like this big, like those really gnarly ones. And I grabbed Sierra, we got into the truck. I thought, ah, oh, we'll just chill in here for a little bit and let the wasps pass. And they didn't pass, they just sat there and they were, they were, on, they were like 10 of them. And they were circling around the cab of the truck on the windows, trying to like sting the windows and stuff like that, just like crazy. So we decided to leave. <laughs> so we're back here, change of venue, we're back at the property. And for the Jackery battery here, what I wanted to do was go over the specifics of it and explain the ports that are on the front, how it charges in the back, the improvements that Jackery's made to this battery, and why I think it's the best battery that you could use for truck camping. One of the biggest selling features for me when I adopt any product to incorporate into my truck camping endeavors is the lightweight portability feature of whatever it is I'm working with. This Jackery solar power station is two kilograms, which is 4.4 pounds lighter than any other comparable 1000 watt hour power station on the market. The compact design with the foldable handle here, which when you fold this down, it's nice. It makes a flat surface on top. You can put stuff on. This square little, little package is easy to work with, easy to pack away and not difficult at all to transport. One thing is when I first got on the market in 2015, most of the solar stations could only accept up to 160 watts at one time, which, you know, you, that's a losing game if you're out pushing a refrigerator, you know, recharging your drone, working with a laptop, maybe running your Starlink or, a, or some other internet service provider. Well, all that draw throughout the day will eventually catch up with you if you're only able to put in 160 watts of power. This has all changed now. All the tech has been updated to where, like with this quick charge feature, Say I run to the laundromat and I want to do laundry. Well, I'm there for like an hour and a half or whatever. Plug this in while I'm there, zero to 100% while, while I do laundry. That's a great feature to have. Another thing too is with solar, you know, the solar in the past used to be limited to the 160 watts as well. You can put 800 watts in this thing, which is crazy. So the capacity and the ability of being able to recharge this battery almost to full with very little effort, you don't have to, you don't have to babysit your solar all day long and just be like, well, I guess I'll charge this, but I'm going to hold off on charging this and like really try to micromanage your power. This allows you a little bit more wiggle room with your day. And so therefore, when you're out doing stuff, you don't have to constantly stop and check on your solar to make sure you're charging it at an optimum level. The pure sine wave inverter built in here delivers stable power, so you don't have to worry about frying any of your devices. The built-in smart temperature control helps to make sure that you don't overheat your battery. There's actually a neat feature here, which I want to mention for all of us that buy that drive bumpy 4x4 trails. This Jackery power station comes with a UL certified battery pack, shock resistant level 9 for uneven services for like bumpy roads and stuff like that. So it will still... 100% operate even if it's you know a little bit off kilter it doesn't have to be 100% flat. This Jackery Explorer 1000 Pro boasts 1000 charge cycles so based on an average of like one or two uses a month you're looking at about 10 years of use out of this. This battery is virtually 100% silent. I've, I've never really noticed it going. The only time that I've heard a little bit of noise from this battery is when I have the solar hooked up to it and I'm charging it up to full. And lastly there's a 3 plus 2 warranty which means there's a 3 year warranty that comes with it and then if you buy it on the website on their official website you get an additional two years so five year warranty for a power station that's top notch all right let's check out the front of this battery and then we'll do the back and i'll explain to you what the ports are here first off you've got your display so really easy readout it's percentage wise as far as how much is left you'll have your input and your output and the estimated time until your battery is dead you can keep it like this and you know you're not going to pull any power at all if you turn on the direct power you're not going to pull any power but if you turn on the ac which is alternating current, you'll notice how this will start to go down. The reason being is that there's a conversion being done from direct power over to alternating current to make these live. So if you're not gonna be using these three ports and plug anything in there, you see how this is going down, it goes down to 18.5 hours now, just to be on standby, you're gonna be drawing here. So what I would do is I'd turn that off if I'm not using it, and that way your, your battery, you'll preserve your battery. Um, it's, it's going down here at 13.4, now we're back up to 19.4 hours, then it'll say 99, let's see. 99.9 .9 hours eventually. We've got a 12 volt 10 amp plug for any sort of uh, fridge, you know, the Dometic fridge that I use. Let's plug it in right here, you're all set. You've got a light, which just is really great at night, and it's got three different settings on it. We've got two USB ports here, the USB-A and USB-C. This is the 100 watt. This one is an 18 watt max. And then, like I mentioned, you've got your car port up here, which is a 12 volt 10 amp for running your fridges and things of that nature. As far as the AC output is concerned, you've got these three 110 plugs, and these are AC 120 volt with the 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter, so you don't have to worry about frying any devices. 
flipping the battery around, you've got your input ports on the back. You've got your solar right here for the DC input. And then for your AC input for the wall unit to charge, you've got this plug here. These Solar Saga 80 panels are really lightweight and easy to transport. They're 5.1 kilograms, which is about 11 and a half pounds. And then if you have the carrying case with it, that's 6.5 kilograms, which is 14 pounds. So really easy to carry. You carry two of these in one hand, the power station in the other hand, simple to transport. Also, I want to point out there's this really simple kickstand that's easy to use and it's very durable. And with the, the lightweight nature of this, it's just heavy enough to where it doesn't blow away in the wind. All right, the verdict's in. Me and Sierra agree. We're going to use this for our truck camping setup going forward. So every time we roll out, we're taking the Jackery Explorer 1000 Pro with us and the Solar Saga 80 panels. We'll be jamming. I love the lightweight nature of this. The portability is fantastic. The high output as far as like a 2000 watt surge, but 1000 watts continuous power. You can't beat it, so especially for the weight. So if you're looking for a portable power station, which packs a punch, but is also lightweight, Jackery's got you covered. Check out the links in the video description below. Thanks for watching.